In this video, I'm going to show you how to change a gradient using Adobe Illustrator. This is one of the questions that's on the certification practice test, so I'm going to show you how to do it. You need to make sure that you have your gradient tab open. If you don't, as always, you can find it under Window. Make sure it's checked. All right, so I have the star, and it has a gradient, and it's going from green to pink, and I want to change it from blue to red, and I want to use these hexadecimal, which is a web color, uh, in these um, in, in place of the green and the pink. So I'm going to click on my star and you'll see on my gradient tab over here it shows me that I have this color green fading to this color pink and this is pretty easy I just want to click on the green and then in my color tab up here make sure you have that open too by the way it's under window also there is the spot right here where I can add the hexadecimal color so I'm going to highlight over that and I'm going to type in this blue right here so it's zero 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 f f and press enter so there I have my blue and now I want to change the red to this color so I'm going to go over here where this pink is and then up here in my color tab I'm going to highlight that existing pink color and put in f f zero 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 and press enter alright so now I have my blue to red blend using the colors that were specified the only other thing that I need to show you how to do is when it asks for a specific location, 60%. If you go on the gradient tab, you can see they have opacity and then they have location. So if you click this here, you can choose a different percentage. Besides what's on the test as far as gradients go, I did want to show you a couple other things for when you're creating some of your own artwork that might be some useful tips. So I'm going to click on the star and I have this gradient. So I showed you how to change the hexadecimal colors up here. You can also change it to any color swatch. I forgot to tell you this. Just by dragging it up and dropping it in the place of the other color. So if I wanted to have this orange instead of this blue, I can just drag any swatch up there. And instead of putting the location like we had before, a, spe a specific percentage, you can also just use the slider to change the location. Let's say if you wanted to add another color in here, you can just click your swatches and drag any color inside there. And if you don't want a color, you can just pull it down to get rid of it. And then you can move you know, how close the blend is together. So if it's just on that tip versus the whole, whole thing. So yeah, you can keep adding other colors to it. You can add lots of colors and just take them away as needed, space them out by doing this. And you can move these sliders around to control how quickly they blend in between each color. And then the other thing I wanted to show you besides adding and deleting colors was up here where it says type. If Right now we have a linear gradient, but if you want a radial one, you could do that. So there's other options besides just the linear. Whoa besides just the linear gradient that you can have. And then also if you see this bar up here, it lets you slide things around right on top of your art so it makes it really easy to customize how the colors blend together. And then finally one other thing I wanted to show you on the gradient tool is over here in our toolbar this is the gradient tool. If you press G on your keyboard you can find it so if you want to even customize the direction maybe you don't want it to go like this you can just drag, click, and drag anywhere, and you can totally change the angle of your gradient and how close together it is, maybe if it's just a rainbow or... So yeah, if you want to customize your gradient even further, just make sure you have that gradient tool clicked and you can make all kinds of customized gradients.